Hi everybody, it's Deanna, we're live. I'm so sorry for the um, technical difficulties. I was trying to get it to go on my computer and um, for some reason I couldn't get it to go so I switched to my phone. And um, yeah, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your patience. We went live at, hi Trisha. Um, we went live at 1.11, so I think that's an awesome sign, guys. Okay, so um, I'm so excited that you're all here. This is actually like my very first Facebook Live with the group, but my very first Facebook Live ever. Hi, nice to see you guys. Hi, Katrina. Yeah, exciting. So um, let's talk some summer dating. Um yeah, it's uh, it's such a great time of year, dating in the summer. There's like a playfulness to it. People are out and about. They want to get out. They want to do things. So it's actually a really good time to um, uh, get out and meet your guy. Um, so I'm going to give you some practical tips today, some practical places that you can go and things you can do to meet somebody. And then also like a couple of mindset things because that's really the key. Um, to having success when you get out there and meet your man. And then if you guys have some questions at the end about meeting men or if we have time for other questions, let me know and I will answer them as soon as I can. So uh, let's get started. Um, okay, so the first thing is if you saw this series or followed me for a while, I usually, I always say uh, meeting men isn't something you turn on and turn off. So a lot of times when we're single, we kind of compartmentalize our life. So the week is meant for work and the gym, and the weekend's meant for seeing friends and uh, dating. So you want to think of dating and meeting men as like an all, like a, not something you turn on or off, but just as part of your everyday life. So what that looks like is being friendly, being curious, being open, um, receiving, and um, when I actually work with clients, I give them um, exercises, and one of them is to talk to three men a day. And um, what that looks like is just like talk, turning to the guy next to you and asking him a question. Um, even asking the time like kind of gets you um, to connect with that person and and see that there are really cute, available men everywhere you go. So. Friendliness, openness, curiosity is super important to making meeting men a part of your everyday life. And the more you're like that in your everyday life, the easier it is when you... It, the, sorry, I was just reading something really funny there. Um, the easier it is for you to connect with that guy that you find super hot. Because a lot of times we see the guy that we think is super hot, but we've kind of been in our own little bubble, and, and then we see him and then we panic. We're not sure what to say. So the more easy you can get with, with chatting with people in everyday life, the easier it is to connect with that really hot guy that you like. So, um, so, so let's talk about some places that are really good in the summer. So the first would be a rooftop patio or a patio bar. And bars, you know, we talk about bars, that seems super obvious, but it really is true that that summertime vibe of being outside, the tables are all close together, people are feeling more energetic, more playful, they're more likely to um, chat with you than if it's winter and everybody's kind of closed off. So. Um, go to those places, so like an uptown vibe, you know, upscale kind of professional vibe. That's usually like a hotel, um, a hotel bar, rooftop bar is really good. And then if you want like a casual neighborhood kind of bar, you can go to something in your neighborhood. So like, but sit on the patio and, and connect with people and smile and get to know them. So the other one is, the next one is um, Men Love Sports. And um, so even if you don't, if you're not really a super sports type girl, there's lots of kind of summertime activities that you can go out and meet guys. So joining a beach, beach volleyball league, um, you know, a co-ed baseball team, going to the driving range. The driving range is an awesome one any time of year because you can, you can ask that guy for help and ask his opinion and, and really interact. But joining something that's like a regular 
um, team that you can meet up on is actually a really good way to meet somebody because you're you're getting to know somebody slowly over time and it's actually a more natural way to meet than let's say kind of meeting somebody online it's like do I like you or don't I like you you're 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 hitting heading into more of that circle of friends type of a connection and that always is a really good way to meet somebody um, let's see your frisbee um, so pick something that you've always wanted to try or maybe something that you're a little bit even afraid to try and um, see how that goes and um, the next thing is and sometimes this one is a little bit hard for for people as well but that is to accept all the invitations that you get offered so summertime there's so many barbecues and parties and like holidays long weekends um, weddings um, parties like so many things going on just accept just decide okay I'm gonna make this a summer of getting out of my comfort zone and I'm gonna go to all these parties and see what happens so you might not let's say you might not meet the perfect guy at the party but you'll meet maybe a great friend who introduces you to somebody awesome or a, a friend who invites you to another party and that there you meet somebody awesome so it's really all about the connections that you're making while you're getting out there in the energy that you're you're having and you know I get it um, sometimes we just want to sit on the the couch we don't want to go to another event we don't want to put ourselves out there anymore um, we'd rather binge watch Netflix I get it um, so what I usually say is make it a rule like I'm gonna go out and I'm going to um, connect with three people I'm gonna chat with three people that I don't know and then after that if I still feel like leaving I'm gonna leave and you know what often happens is the person ends up having a great time so try that rule and see how it works um, the other thing that's really great is to think similar but different so what that looks like is if you are um, let's say you're somebody that's normally you go running solo you um, join a running group so the person is often kind of has the same interests as you but maybe they're just approaching it or doing it in a little bit of a different way so he might be part of that running group or again like you might meet somebody who introduces you to somebody in that running group um, so it's really important to kind of um, think about things that you really like so let's say okay um, let's say you love art, you love traditional art, so go to more of a modern art gallery or vice versa. Um, let's say you love movies, go to a play um, or vice versa. So just start brainstorming about ways you can actually get out and enjoy your life a little bit more and do things that you love but like a little bit differently. Um, okay, and then this kind of plays into the next one which is really become the person that you want to date. So what that looks like is getting out, enjoying your life, following your interests. The more you follow your interests, the more that you're going to connect with that right guy. Because a lot of times, especially when we're single, sometimes we're kind of putting off our life for when that magical boyfriend or husband or partner comes along. So it's like one day when, you know, I'm going to do this when, when I meet this guy or this is going to happen when. So start living that that someday life right now because the more that you are living as if you're with that partner the more likely you are to attract that right guy and um, again oh I have some notes so I wouldn't forget everything and they're getting mixed up here um, and okay and then the last kind of number one um, thing to remember is that this is all great you know hearing these things is great but they're not gonna make a difference unless you go out and take action so like set an intention again like this is gonna be the summer that you have a great time that you get out there you're enjoying life you're enjoying um, exploring your interests you're expanding your um, social circle and just having fun and like actually go and do it like if you don't want to take all of these tips like take you know just say like once a week I'm gonna try this and and just like open yourself up to it and then again um, another really I guess this is probably the most important one now that I think about it is it when you were out there 
actually, again, you could be out there, but if you're not talking or interacting with men, then it really means nothing anyway. So sometimes what I see is women, oh, I went out and I did that. No one talked to me. I went out and yeah, I was waiting and waiting and waiting and no one talked to me. And sometimes there could be an issue with body language. So what I see sometimes is women just like really kind of like arms are crossed and they're just kind of, you know, they have their drink or maybe they're kind of closed off and they're waiting for a guy to approach them. And they're like, well, I'm here. He should be talking to me. But it doesn't really work that way. So men really need a clear invitation that you're interested. Um, I've talked about this before. They really need to know, like, it's okay to talk to me. I'm open. I'm friendly. So smile, eye contact, um, get close to them. So sometimes, you know, it's really hard to cross the room. So if you see him, and let's say it's at an event or at a gallery or party or wherever it is, like, you know, make eye contact with him, do that flirty, you know, eye contact, but then get closer to him, like get in close proximity so he knows like you're interested and it's going to be a lot easier for him to come over to you um, rather than having to kind of cross that, that long walk, take that long walk across the room and he doesn't even know if you're, if you're going to shoot him down or not. Like that's a really tough thing for guys. And then let's say you do all that and he still doesn't talk to you, but there's a lot of eye contact, you know, smile, walk over, say something to him. You know, if you're at a party, you can say, you know, how do you, how do you know the host? Um, if you're at an art gallery, you know, what do you think of this piece? Like there's a lot of things that you can say that just kind of throw it out there. You don't have to just, you know, ask him out or anything like that. Just like initiate a little bit of conversation and see how it goes. So those are my quick um, and fast and easy summer dating tips. And um, yeah, I'd love to know what you guys are thinking if you have any questions comments let me know oh hey Debbie yeah so Debbie says I don't have any single friends so kind of hard to get out there what do you suggest so again okay so thanks for your question Debbie um, um, so okay so what I would suggest is um, Making that friendly, um, curious attitude part of your everyday life, just like we were talking about. And you know, you don't need to be um, part of a posse to go out. So actually, it's actually much easier sometimes to um, go out by yourself than it is to go out with a group because guys will approach you a lot easier. Um, so find some things that you're interested in. Again, like joining that team, like you could go to the driving. I, I mean, I don't know what you're into, but I'm just going to give you some suggestions. Um, the driving range is something you could go by yourself. Um, joining a team or any kind of um, uh, meetup group. These are all things that are just really easy for you to go to and um, interact with people on your own. And like parties, like don't feel embarrassed or shy about going to a party by yourself because you do obviously know you know the host or you're going to know somebody else there so just go and and interact and and um it get out of your comfort zone a little bit it does take practice um i even say like go to a bar like you can go to like a steakhouse or a bar and sit actually at the bar and um, don't have your phone out or anything like that because that actually um is like armor it's like repelling so just sit there you know order an appetizer order a glass of wine and just see what happens but be friendly and open okay so Katrina says I run a recreational sports league and I highly recommend it as a way to meet people so yeah it's an awesome 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 thing um, here we have urbanrec.ca. I'm, I'm not sure if there's the, a similar one in, um, whatever country you're in right now, but just, just Google like recreational sports leagues and so many fun things come up. Like it's not just, um, baseball and football. Like there's, there's tons of really fun activities, like even bocce ball. You know, that's a really fun thing to just go to the park and, if you're kind of um, more of a person that just likes to relax and have a couple of drinks and play a nice easy game, like that's a fun one to, to uh, go to. So it's again like one of the common um, 
ways that people used to meet was through their circle of friends, um, church, um, work, but we're getting a little bit more cocooned in our, in our way and in our lives right now. So, um, when you're in a recreational sports league, it kind of gives you that circle of friends where you're getting to know somebody over time. There's not pressure. It's like what happens often is we go on a first date, like an online date, we meet them and then they're either in or they're out. Like we're, it's hard. We don't often give them the chance that we should, but when you're in that rec sports league or when you're in that circle of friends you you're getting small little interactions with that person where they're where maybe at first you weren't that into them but then after a while you're like oh actually you know they're really cool I really love this about them or they're so funny or they become more attractive as you give them a chance so that's why joining like a rec league is 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 a good one oh Trisha says that's possible I'm told I'm intimidating um, yeah, you know, that's, oh, you run a bocce league. Oh, awesome. Cool, Katrina. That's amazing. Yeah, I think that's a fun one. Um, okay, I've told I'm intimidating. So, yeah, so things like just, just the language you use with confronting, that's like kind of a bit of a clue that maybe that energy is a little bit more, um, uh, aggressive than you intend. Um, and intimidating, like if you hear that a lot, that, that is a bit of a clue. It doesn't make you wrong or that there's something wrong with you. It just means like, oh, this is a clue of how I might be coming across. And sometimes when we get really, um, fatigued with dating, I, I know I did see your post and I actually am going to make it like a separate video f uh, on some of the topics that you talked about. Um, but what I'll say is sometimes when we get tired and fatigued of dating, we feel like we're putting ourselves out there so much. We just want to do A and get, you know, this result. Like, I'm just going to put it out there. And if he's either going to like me or, or not, like it, it's not actually the energy that's actually going to be attracting that right partner to us. And then it kind of, it's a vicious circle because it makes us even more tired of dating. Okay, so I'm gonna sign off and I'm gonna do another um, Facebook Live, more Facebook Lives in the, um, in the future. And um, as always, if you have a question, just like put, post it in the group and we're all here to support each other and help each other. And um, Trisha, I'm definitely gonna be making a, um, a couple videos about dating fatigue and, and texting and I hope that they really help you out. Okay, everybody, mwah, I love you so much. Thank you so much for being here. I'm sorry again for the um, the delay, and um, I'm really looking forward to making more videos with you and, and videos for you and hearing um, more about how I can help you. And I hope you have an amazing, amazing day. And I'd also like to know, like, if you guys do decide to join a group, or use any of these tips, like let me know, because everybody, you know, they really do work. And um, it's just a matter of kind of doing something in a way that you've never done it before, because that's the only way that you can really get results. So let me know if you do them, because they really do work. And um, when you share, it actually gives other people like uh, some hope, like, yeah, this is possible, and, and I can do it, and I can have fun, and I can be out there, and, um, change my dating life and, and have more fun. Okay, thank you so much. I love you all. Bye.